Hello friends, hello fellow Nigerians, hello brothers and sisters. There is something that has just come to my knowledge which I'd like to say something about. In fact, Nigerian political terrain has become a laughing stock because Nigeria is turning everything into comedy. Nigeria has become a comedy central, political comedy central, and the politicians are comedians. Maybe I can say we have 95% of Nigerian politicians as comedians. This is a country where a politician will insult you and come back to beg you just because he will be needing your vote, just close to the time of election. Mazi. Atiku Abubaka, or should I say Egbo Alaye Atiku Abubaka, just say something about the northerners not needing or will not need an Igbo man or a Yoruba man to be the president of Nigeria. In other words, he's trying to tell northerners not to support any Igbo man nor any Yoruba man or any other person from the South in this coming election 2023 because to him, he believes that he is the only one qualified. And what gave him that sense of qualification? What gave him that boldness to think that he is better qualified than every other one, than Jagaban, than Peter Obi, than any other Southerner? that you can think about or mention is just because he's a Northerner. Now, it has come to a point where being a Northerner is all that you need. It has become the qualification for you to become the president of Nigeria and nothing more or less, nothing more than that. Whether you have idea of the problem the nation is going through, whether you know the source of the problem, whether you know the problem we are having today, whether you know the solution to the problem or not, all they care for is the fact, it's just the certificate that you are, that I am a Northerner, therefore I am qualified just because I am a Northerner, not because I have the capability, I have the know-how, I have the wherewithal to handle or to resolve the problem that the nation has been thrown into, that Nigeria has found itself. For him to make that comment, it means that all those not Southerners that are backing him up, that are following him, do not know what they're doing. But thank God for Jag Jaga Jagaban. Ogatinubu for responding. In fact, he did well. Tinubu responded. He challenged him. He understood where Atiku was going. That is tribalism. I believe Nigeria has gone beyond tribalism. Sectionalism. If we should keep on talking about race, tribe, region then the nation will never move forward because this is what the nation has been going through for over 50 years 50 years more than 50 years what has kept nigeria backward has always been the issue of regionalization tribalism Igbo yoruba Aosa, benin uh, igala uh, you know mention them and this is not how to build a nation in this century, in this generation, if a leader, somebody that said that he has gone through all the spheres of Nigeria, he has gone through all the parts of Nigeria, and he has built bridges across each section, each region of Nigeria, and tribe can say such thing to the northerners, then there is a problem. Well, like I said, Tinubu responded, but my question to Gatinubu is this. If Atiku 
said that northerners do not need Igbo or, or Yoruba to become the president of Nigeria. And he is having somebody as his running mate, somebody that has vowed to work against a particular race and tribe in Nigeria. Shetima. Shetima did not promise to make sure that Igbos leave the north, but even that the Igbos leave Yoruba land. Shetima promised to frustrate Igbos everywhere they are, even in the east. Shetima promised to make sure that it will become difficult for an Igbo man to succeed. In other words, what he's trying to say is that since he knows that what Igbos do is business, entrepreneurism, into commerce. So he will make sure that he blocked the way, he stopped the means, and the, where we are the abilities for Igbo man to succeed in his businesses, thereby frustrating Igbos. And indirectly, frustrating the nation because he never had anything any good plan for Nigeria his antecedents the things he has said and the things he met when they were at the MBL recently what did he say? he said Tinubu will be in charge of the economy and I Shetima will be in charge of security what is he trying to tell Nigerians? that the moment APC wins the presidency he will take over the security of Nigeria. And we already know what he's going to do to Nigeria. Shetima will create a kind of hatred, Russia hatred, tribal hatred, between the North and the South, between the Aosas and the Igbos, and between the Igbos and the Yorubas. He will make sure that nothing works in Nigeria. So I think Oga Tinubu have a lot of work to do. He should sit back before talking to Atiku. I know Atiku says something wrong, but what Shetima said is far worse than what Atiku said. And I believe it is time for Nigerians to wake up. If Nigeria fell, Nigerians fell 2023, then Nigerians have failed themselves. If they fail to vote out all these old bags, all these wicked and evil-minded people, who all they think is that Nigeria belongs to them. Whether they are from the north, south, east, or west, there's what is the elites, the cabals, the groupers. There are a certain set of people that have, have chosen themselves, and they are very few. And they are the ones running down the nation. Come 2023, if the youths of this nation who have the population to make sure that the right person is voted into power, come 2023, to change Nigeria. To change the state of things in Nigeria. To transform Nigeria from poverty to riches. From hopelessness to hope. From insecurity to security. Among these four people, we have somebody who can do that. It is not because of where Obi is coming from. Because I would have voted Atiku if some other Igbo politicians are coming out whom I know will not perform, will not bring anything good to Nigeria. Nigeria is divided. Nigeria have been, Nigerians have been impoverished, impoverished. They have been denied their rights. We need someone who has the fear of God. And among these four people contesting, the major contestants for 2023 presidential election, Obi's antecedent speaks louder than every other person. Obi has shown that he has the people at heart. He can make some sacrifice he can kill his ego. He does not need anything from Nigeria. He wants to contribute. 
He does not need money. He was, he's not going to steal money. Because if he had wanted to be stealing, when he was the governor, he would have stolen money, but he did not steal it. But there was also a legal way of him making money, legal way in, in, the, in the system that we have created in Nigeria for politicians and the governors to make their money, and it is legal. The security vote, even his pension, legal. But he refused to because he knew that the state where he governed that he governed, that he left, does not have such money to be paying him. He sacrificed. This is the man that we want for Nigeria. A detrabalized person. Even if you look at it, who are those supporting Obi? Nigerians are supporting Obi. The youths are supporting Obi not because Obi is from the south. The youths have woken up. They are supporting Obi because of his antecedents. They are supporting Obi because they know what Obi can do. They are supporting Obi because they know the sacrifices he made. They are supporting Obi because they know that Obi is a man. He's not a saint, but he is a man who will walk, who will struggle to, towards perfection. He is not perfect, but he will do everything possible to see what he can do to make the state, to make the nation better. This is the man that we are going to vote for. The youths have woken up. They are no more sleeping. And we should not allow this opportunity to pass us by. They have spoken. You have the LP, the Labour Party. You have the APC and you have the PDP. What is the umbrella for? To protect themselves. What is the broom for? to sweep out Nigeria from their positions of power. Labour Party is the only party that have the people at heart. Labour Party is the only party in Nigeria you have the mother, you have the father, and you have the child. In other words, Labour Party cares for the people. It is the party for the people, of the people, and from the people. Yes. That is Labour Party. The people will vote their president. The president will work for the people. And the people will control the presidency. That is true democracy. And Labour Party will bring it to pass. That is the only party, even in their manifesto. Read their manifesto. This is the only party. Their logo talks about human, humanity. Care for families. That is Labour Party. My prayer is that Nigerians will wake up. We not disappoint themselves. Because nobody will disappoint them. Nigerians will disappoint themselves if they fail to vote out APC and stop PDP and voting Labour Party come 2023. Because Nigeria will be better. Nigeria will be great again. Nigeria will rise again. Nigeria is a nation God has blessed. If you go out of the country and see what is happening in other countries, in other places, and you will see that Nigeria is a nation that has been blessed. But the few people we have as our leaders have sworn to make sure Nigeria does not see anything good. But time has come because God has heard the cries of the people. There have been enough bloodshed. There have been revolutions, silent revolutions. People have cried and sighs. People have demonstrated. Thousands of people have been murdered, even in their houses, in their farms, in their rooms. Nigerians have suffered. Food has been taken away from their tables. This is the time for us to rise up with our PVC and vote the person that have Nigerians at heart. Nigeria will be great again. God made Nigeria for a purpose. And if Nigeria becomes great again, we'll be proud of Nigeria because Nigeria is made to be great. And Nigeria will be united. The North, the South, the East, the West. We will see ourselves as one. LP will do it because they care for human life. 
God bless you.